Good morning, we are off to Disneyland today. We are heading from our RV park right next to Disneyland and it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day. What do you reckon? Can't wait. Sarah's already with her hat. Got my hat. Amy's, Amy's got, got her, got her hat. hat. Sophie's got her new stroller because she's got tired legs. Alright, let's go. So we just arrived at Disney, we just got dropped off by the Uber and we didn't realise that it was probably only about one kilometre quick Uber ride. So let's go and check in and see how we go. When you get to Disneyland, no matter how early you arrive, there always seems to be a line to get in. Welcome to Disneyland! Welcome! Do you want to go hop on the red bus or walk? We're riding aboard trolley 623, numbered for the year Walt Disney first arrived in California, 1923. Guys, I need your help! Whoa, we are on the teacup ride at the Disney Early Morning Magic Pass, and it is spinning and spinning. So we found that getting here early doesn't really help that much because the park's still pretty full. There's lots of people that come in the morning Magic Pass, so we went to the cars, no, the uh, the driving um, thing. I'm not even in the mood to talk right now. Like I'm getting sick. Bye bye. So we recommend on your first day at Disney to hit the basic rides first while the day is early. It means you can get some rides under your belt and also get a chance to get a feel for the place. This train ride is awesome as it circles around some other kids rides that can point you in the right direction of where they want to go next. It's so awesome to see the excitement on their face and to experience everything that Disney has to offer. As you walk around throughout the day, you see random characters that will jump on the rides with you. Belle and the Beast were a particular favourite of ours. But once the kids get used to the basic rides, you can step it up and move onto something a little bit more adventurous for the parents as well. We're on our first ride. Let's do it. After the cars ride, we moved onto a ferris wheel with a difference. Whilst you slide along, you can also look around to see your next adventure. Tap, tap, tap. Take it away, men! Alright troops, the green army men are going to be setting up a temporary training camp up ahead. When you get tired of waiting in lines and spinning around, you can move into one of the many other activities and shows that Disney put on. This was an interactive dance party with some special guest appearances. We 
use this as a chance to also take a break and sit down and have some lunch. We would definitely recommend packing your own lunch and bringing it along. There's no issues with bringing any external food or drinks into the park itself. Another tip to get some special treatment like Amy and Sophie did was to tell them at the front gate that it's their birthdays and they write it on their special badges. Now just trying to find the kids need to move and find the girls. Moving in, moving in, moving in. Finding the girls. Yep, secure the girls. They're coming through, coming through the dance party. Here they are. I got to go on the microphone. I saw you. What about you, Soph? Did you hand something to Minnie? Well, Ames, it's been our first day at Disneyland today. How have you found it? Good. You think we've got a booking for Goofy's Kitchen? Yeah, because I see Mummy all the time looking at Goofy's Kitchen. Would you be excited if we went to Goofy's Kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Because Mickey Mouse is there. Okay, well, we will see whether we get to go there, okay? Okay, see you soon. surprised me with Goofy's kitchen. I'm so excited. Let's go. What do we do? We have a chicken. Goofy's Kitchen was another special treat for our family. It books out months in advance, so you need to get in early. But once you get a booking, it's worth it. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet with a difference, filled with the most of the classic Disney characters that individually come up to your table and sign autographs and take photos with you. Another special treat because we let them know it was the girl's birthday. The end of another amazing day for the Hanks adventures. We went back to the RV park and over the next few nights had simple barbecues whilst watching the amazing Disney fireworks from the comfort of our Road Bear RV. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe to help our family build our little channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventures with the Hanks.